here with the Vixis and you have a Vidity solution right here. So who are you? That's correct. My name is John Pomeroy. I'm the VP of Marketing at Vixis Systems. Um, we're here at CES 2016 and we're demonstrating our Xcode 6800 SOC chip, which is a Vidity solution enabling UHD HDR10 playback of ultra high quality video content from the theaters. So in this case we're demonstrating content crafted by uh, Universal Studios, sorry, uh, 20th Century Fox Studios, um, and we're demonstrating UHD HDR 10-bit. Um, I'm just going to start a video So playing. what's the, the SOC that you have? Is it an ARM uh, Cortex? Is, that's correct. It's a dual ARM Cortex A9 um, based uh, SOC and with doing video processing and then also HDR processing. HDMI 2.0. So out. this is 10-bit 4K support? This is actually 12-bit 4K 12 -bit. support as well as an HDR tone mapping engine that allows us to map the HDR content to SDR uh, TVs doing a frame-by-frame -frame dynamic uh, metadata mapping. So you do HDR support? We do. So are you, are you the first to do We're all that kind of first, stuff? We're not the first, but what we've done is implemented a very, very robust HDR engine which allows us to support all of or many of the known standards for HDR is still an emerging standard. Um, and this device reaches all of those corner cases and allows us to provide our customers with a future-proof uh, product that reaches all the many, many use cases. And this is 12-bit uh, H265? That's correct. It's HEVC H265. That's Main 12 is actually the name of the code. Main 12, yeah? Main 12, yeah. And uh, Vidity is, uh, is a new platform to get 4K movies. And uh, yeah. with, with the, this is a DRM that just works. Yeah, Vidity, Vidity is a, uh, an association created by um, 20th Century Fox, uh, Warner Brothers, Western Digital, and SanDisk originally, and now joined by many others, including ourselves and Samsung and so forth. It's a security system that allows them to deliver very, very high quality content. In the sense, we're talking about movie theater quality content. So let's, uh, let's so try let's, some playback. Yeah, we'll start one playing here, and you'll see that the TV will switch to HDR mode in a moment. Um, it'll come up with a logo that says HDR mode is now on. And now nice. we're looking at a Fox clip reel, um, which demonstrates the very high quality content. This is awesome. So uh, here at the CS and in general, you're talking with uh, set-top box manufacturers or what do you do? Yeah, we do uh, talk to set-top box manufacturers, IP set-top boxes in particular, although mostly at CES our focus is around Vidity and also around the UHD VD playback. So this is, is a, that? this is an Ultra HD 4K disc. It's a Blu-ray disc for Ultra HD 4K um, and it's actually also using um, some of the Vidity technology as a concept presentation of an ability to copy content off of that. So they'll just be shipping 4K on normal Blu-rays? No, it's a special new format called UHD BD. So it's a higher capacity Blu-ray? Higher capacity, very, very high quality. Again, I'm, I'm going to switch the TV to uh, another mode here for a moment and you'll be able to see that content as well. So in this case, I'm just uh, so you, you connect can, the, the drive to how do you connect it? This is this is a reference platform, so yeah. this would actually be integrated. Our Xcode 6830 SOC would be integrated with the platter into a, a UHD so the dual BD core player. Cortex A9. Also dual core Cortex A9, yeah. correct. Uh, now in this case, we can see that we're watching a movie. We've got all the usual Blu-ray stack functionality, navigation. This allows the device to play not only the UHD BD, but also the old standards of, of BD, DVD, and CD. All right. So uh, since last year, you had the, you were announcing that you had the first 10-bit 4K H.265, right? I believe that what? was actually two years ago. Two years ago, right? Yes, yes. So that was, that was a while ago. What happened since then with your platform? Well, that platform's been used by a variety of customers uh, in video gateway applications under service operators, um, but also in uh, several TV applications. Panasonic, for example, launched a TV using our device to provide 4K HEVC playback. Uh, and now we're moving on to the next generation, optimizing more for the HDR, which adds in a very significant increase in the video quality and the experience.
So this looks really awesome and uh, hopefully every movie ever made will be available in VDT 4K. Well that's true and also on UHD BD. Um, both Fox and Warner Brothers have announced that they will have many titles available by June of 2016. So really very soon we'll be seeing multiple titles coming up from the theaters. And with Vidity, you can go even now to the MGO store and access the content that's available. Although not at this very high quality level, it requires security which is only available in the Vixus chip at this moment in time. So security is required, you could, you could potentially go and get a hard drive? Or an SSD it, yeah, full it, of it movies? It requires a, a Western Digital Vidity hard drive. It's a special version of a Western Digital hard drive. It could, this could be two terabytes or one or yeah, something? Yeah, I think the one, two, and a three terabyte version of the drive. It'll be available through the usual retail establishments. Once you have that, then you would be able to download content onto that drive and play it back with the Vidity player. There are three levels of security for Vidity, so something like your handset might be able to play a low quality uh, version. Uh, at a level two, like a Samsung television with an integrated Vidity player, which exists today, you'd be able to play it back at a level two, which gives you 4K. And then level three, the only device is the Vixus device, which yes, once again, is based on the dual arm A9. So you're uh, definitely gonna be ready by the June, what date? June 26th? Uh, well, the, 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 uh, the release of the UHD BD titles is in June. Um, we actually have engaged customers on our Xcode 6800 product already. They will be receiving their samples in February, and then they have to build and manufacture their products, which we expect would be on the shelves in time for Christmas 2016.